What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time on this channel and you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for future content. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a full recap on FunCon 2021, share all the exclusives, how to get them, where to get them, when to get them. Also, it looks like a lot of our Funko accounts have been locked out. We can't sign back in. What's going on? Let's go ahead and get this one started. So this is a full recap on FunCon 2021. This is actually pretty cool because this is Funko's first own separate event. This should have been at San Diego Comic-Con, but Funko decided let's do our own convention and they're not wrong. They're big enough to do it. So this is their seventh virtual convention and it will be held on August 4th, 5th and 6th. Another really cool thing about it is that it will also be at Funko Hollywood. I was actually lucky enough to get a ticket on August 5th. I will be there for the 8 a.m. slot and I'll make a video, share my experience with you guys. This is the day by day schedule. So it looks like on August 4th, it will be for lottery winners on Funko.com. And then August 5th, it will be open for everyone that was not in the lottery, but not everything will be available. And then August 6th is for the fun days event. So a lot of exciting stuff and I'm really looking forward to it. Just like the past virtual events Funko held, here are the three easy steps to enter into the lottery system. And I just want to say good luck to you all. I hope you guys get selected. And then on the 6th, Funko will be hosting their Fun Days Box of Fun with another separate lottery system. This is actually pretty cool. So they have four different teams to choose from. So choose wisely for random selected items. Here's an example of the four different teams. And then these are the dates that you opt in for the email. And then you'll be receiving your final notification whether you were selected or not. Of course, right before lottery selection emails go out, Funko site is giving issues to some accounts, including myself. These are some of the messages that are popping up. And the main thing that's really getting me frustrated is that my Funko app is not letting me log in and I am not seeing my entire collection anymore. I'm still waiting on Funko support to respond regarding this situation going on. But let me know in the comments below if any of you guys are experiencing this as well. While I was making this video, Funko actually just tweeted this regarding the situation. Funko Fanatics, we are actively working on known issues with account settings such as login verification and more. This does not impact historical account information or convention lottery status. Please stay tuned for future updates as we quickly work to resolve this issue. These were actually the first items that we had available for Funkon on Funko.com. I think they're still available. One shirt for the Virtual Con and one for Fun Days. The first pop we have is the Mongo from Samurai Jack. Definitely a really cool looking figure. Missed opportunity on Glow in the Dark, but I'll be getting this one. Now these two over here are definitely must-haves for my Disney collection from Alice in Wonderland. We have the Walrus and Carpenter, and then we also have the Black Light White Rabbit to go with the rest of the Alice in Wonderland Black Light collection, which I did share in my last video. So check it out, leave a thumbs up and a comment below. But I think they might do another one, which is the March Hare. Now, I definitely do love Ad Icon Funko Pops, but for these McNuggets, I feel like they're doing way too many. Bandmaster Nugget, definitely a pass for me. And then we have Philly Buster Leslie from Parks and Recreation. I've actually never watched this show, but I know a lot of people will probably want this one. Over here, we have one of my favorites from this FunCon event, and it is Scout Leader Kronk with Bucky the Squirrel from Emperor's New Groove, which is probably the funniest Disney movie of all time, in my opinion, but I absolutely love this figure and I must have it. Squeak, squeakity, squeak, squeakin'. That was kind of hard to say. From Jay and Silent Bob, we have movies, the mascot. I have no idea what this is, but of course, there's always something for everyone. So someone probably wants it. And then over here, we have TDK from the Suicide Squad. Pretty funny looking pop. I'm actually not a DC guy. I'm more of a Marvel guy. So Marvel, I have a ton of pops. Now, Star Wars, I definitely do like. So we have Rey from the Across the Galaxy collection. This will look really cool with the Luke, Qui-Gon, and Obi-Wan. Then from Rebels... We have Imperial Commando, which also looks pretty cool. And then, of course, we had to get Funko Sodas for FunCon. The very first one of the event, Kaboom Serial Clown. Now, this is part of the Serial Collection ad icons. I love my ad icons for Serial characters. This is a discontinued Serial, so it's a really cool throwback. And then over here, we have Cap Wolf from the Year of the Shield Marvel Collection. I do love Marvel. This pop does look really cool. But I'm not planning to get this one for my collection. Next, we have Smaxy the Seal from Sugar Smacks. Another really cool throwback for cereal ad icons. I do love the cereal ad icon pops. 
So I definitely want to try to get this one. And I also love seals. And then over here, we have a Japanese inspired brand created by an Italian artist, Tokidoki. I think this is a new license Funko started earlier this year for new pops. One of the four are very rare, limited edition 1,500 pieces, only for the con. I'm not sure how well these do, but I can imagine that there are definitely fans. For the DC Imperial Palace collection, we have Deathstroke and Martian Manhunter. The Martian looks pretty cool, but I honestly think these two will be really popular because they do have some others in the past and I'm sure more in the future. Next, we have Cobra Bat from G.I. Joe. This one actually looks pretty cool. The details on the chest, not something for my collection though. As a Disney fan, I definitely do want the metallic Snow White pop whip pin. There's also the Loungefly Evil Queen mini bag, but the Snow White sticker is really cool because the Funko Shop sticker is gold. That's actually the shared sticker, so that's the one I'm hoping to get. The one on the right is actually the official con sticker. And then for my Loungefly collectors, here are all the mini bags from the event. They're gonna have Doctor Strange, Pascal, Pokemon, Sanrio, Evil Queen, Ghostbusters, R2 and C3PO from Star Wars, also Jack Skeleton and Zero which glows in the dark, and then Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Let me know if you guys do collect Loungefly bags, which of these are you guys going to get? For any of you that do plan to get any of these bags, here is the US retail list. So it looks like you can find them all on Loungefly.com, but some of them will also be shared with other retail stores as well. And then here is the list for UK and Europe, it looks like they're not getting all the ones like the US is. And we're back to more Funko Pops. We have the Diamond Collection Pokemon, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Now, I personally still don't like these Diamond Pops, but Vaporeon has hit over $100 in value. So that means people are probably going to start chasing these. I personally rather have some new Pokemons as exclusives, but you know what? They sell, they're popular, so Funko is going to keep making them. And then, of course, we have to get some Masters of the Universe figures because there's a lot of fans for this. I personally have no idea who any of these are, but... We do have two new sodas, Prince Adam and Webster. Those are always fun to get. I'll get my hands on them if I can and see if we get any chases. And then over here, we have a Dungeons and Dragons Funko Pop with a die. This actually looks really cool. The details look amazing. I have no idea what this is. I actually used to have a gelatinous cube from the Dungeons and Dragons Pops. That one was amazing. I didn't keep it in my collection, but honestly, sometimes I regret it. Now check out this metallic mask armor Crash Bandicoot from the latest game. I think this pop looks absolutely fantastic. I definitely would try to get this one in my collection. And then we have more DC heroes from Justice League. Like I said earlier, I'm not really a big fan of DC. So the only character I recognize here is Batman. But one of these five figures are only for the show. Limited edition 5000 piece Stargirl. That's actually a pretty high count. Not sure how popular she is. For DC, they did also give us a Funko Soda of Harley Quinn, limited edition of 12,000 pieces. The one on the left side is the common, the one on the right side is a metallic chase. Some people actually found these in Hot Topic stores. We have another Harry Potter pop, part of this FunCon convention of him holding the winged key. I'm actually not really feeling it. I feel like it's very similar to one of my favorite Harry Potter pops. Him on the broom holding the golden snitch, so I'm definitely passing that one. I do have a few Simpsons Funko Pops in my collection, most of them Treehouse of Horror, but this Belly Dancer Homer, I don't think I'll be getting him. And then we have another one of my favorites from Funcon, the Three Musketeers Mickey Mouse. This one's gonna look beautiful next to the WonderCon Donald Duck from earlier this year. Now we just have to wait for Goofy, which I'm hoping will drop later in the year. Next we have what might be the very first director pops that I plan to get in my collection. We have the Russo Brothers. They directed a few Marvel films, including some of the best, Infinity War and Endgame. Now, the only weird thing is it's limited edition of 2,000 pieces, yet it's not a show-only figure. It's going to be on the Funko site, so I'm assuming it's going to be for lottery winners only, but I'm not sure. Funko recently started making pops of the It's a Small World dolls, a riot at Disneyland, and I feel like this one might actually do really well. Just because this is a new collection, this is the first exclusive, it's from Mexico, and I might actually grab this one because I've been debating about collecting this collection, so just in case, I might get this one. For the 40th anniversary of Danger Mouse, they gave us a Danger Mouse Funko Pop. We recently did get a Funko soda of this character. I failed to get that chase, but this is actually a really cute figure. Next up, part of the Retro Toys Transformers collection, we have Shockwave. This one actually looks pretty cool. Not something I plan to get just because I don't collect this set. 
Now, my opinion is definitely biased just because I am a huge Disney fan and I collect Disney pops, but I do have all the Beauty and the Beast pops and I'm really excited about a new character, the wardrobe. It looks really cool. Marvel's another really big collection of mine. Over here, we have Blade, Falcon, the amazing looking Thor Funko Soda with that black light chase. I definitely need those to stay complete for my Marvel sodas, but check out that limited edition 1,500 piece galactus with silver surfer i would have wanted that but since i have these two coming out in my collection soon i might not need to get that one but these two look amazing i can't wait to get them and then we have marvel battle world travel portal yeah next next up from the boys this is a show on amazon prime i've never seen it but it does look like a pretty cool figure it is the black noir up next we have an exclusive from the office stanley as a warrior i actually used to have every single office funko pop until they kept making way too many so then i downsized and i decided to keep just certain ones that i really like next up we have the rocketeer this one looks really cool definitely one that i do want to get for my collection I did get the Funko Soda earlier this year. This would look really nice with that one. Of course, we had to get My Hero Academia exclusives because those always do well. We have Gang Orca and Fat Gum, which is a super-sized pop. I have no idea who these characters are, but knowing the popularity of the show, they're going to do really good. Now, this over here I'm really excited about. We have the die-cast Captain America from Marvel. Now, this is the very first die-cast figure Funko's ever done. I have no idea what to expect with it, so I'm really excited to see what it looks like in person. If you're in the U.S. and you want any of these exclusives, here's all the shared retailer information you need to know. So, the three show-only figures will probably sell out with the lottery winners. And then, Funko site exclusives, some of them could sell out with the lottery winners as well. But whatever is left available, it will be on the Funko site the next day. So, just choose wisely and be very quick. Also, if any of you are not in the U.S., there's other countries and retail stores that will carry these exclusives. So hopefully you guys can find a way to get them if you're not in the U.S. Here's some clips sharing what other countries and stores will be participating for these FunCon exclusives. Now, me personally, I'm actually going to be going for whatever I really want for my collection. I will try to get some other stuff just so I can share with you guys because I know there's some stuff I do not collect that other Funko collectors would like to see out of the box. And I really do enjoy doing unboxings, reviews, sharing the figures with you guys. So I'm going to try to get whatever I can and make a video once these release. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for future content. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to be going after anything from FunCon. Also, stay tuned for those emails for the lottery systems. They're starting to go out. So make sure you guys enter and good luck. I hope you guys do get selected. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking time out to watch this video. Let me know what you guys would enjoy seeing in the next videos. Thank you all for watching and peace.